G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. I've got the Einstein 2 here and at the moment it's got the three season bug net or the mesh inner. And I've got the winter, the four season one here. And I'm going to see how easy it is to replace the mesh one, the three season for the four season. I have already gone around and just swapped where it ties out to the corner and just put it on top. So first thing we'll do is we'll go around and I'll undo all of those. One that was connected to the bathtub, I've undone that. And on the inside here, it's connected here, and there's one on either side, and that's on all four corners. And so the tent doesn't collapse, I'll just hook this back up. Another thing we've got where the poles go through, there's a bungee loop there. So we've got to take that off. Back. So now that's loop, loose. I've got to do the other one on the opposite side when I get there. <coughs> so this is the one I was just showing you from the outside. That's the one I've done. Second one I'm done. <coughs> now we've got one at the top. Now we've got the one up here. That's three. The head end, these are the ones that get pulled out. Four. And the other end. Five. And so it doesn't drop. I'll do the bottom ones on each corner first. And the final one at the top here. And that's the advantage of having foam sheets. This will drop down onto the ground sheet. Keep them most of it clean. Take the final one out. And that was it. You can actually use this without the inner. So if you just wanted the bug free for example, or you've got a sleeping bag with the bug mesh built in, you could just lay in here as it is for your kit. Plenty of room to spread out and relax. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the four season one and do the reverse and see how easy it is putting it up. There's the four season one. Now they say the difference in weight between these two, the four season and the three season, is between 50 and 60 grams. So weight wise there's nothing in it. I'll shove this one straight into the bag out of the way.
see a little slippy. <laughs> Makes it a little bit difficult to handle, but also enables it to go in the bag easier. So there's this three season one in the bag. Roll this out, and the first thing I'll do is I'll find the hook at the top. So, here's the first one. So let's just pin that in place up here. Make sure I've got the zip facing outwards. Go down to and go down to this one here. To the other, to the uh, other corner. Oh. That one done. Now I'm going to find the ones for the pull outs, which is here. One. The other pull out. Done. Uh, okay, next one I do is the top one. Now what's left is one here and one on the other side. And here's the final one. These are on a bungee strap, that's made it so much easier to get them on. Alright, let's put that hole through the loop again. And this one. toggle up and then just go around and reconnect the tie out points just put them over the top for now actually put this straight in there there you go Hit that pig in too far. 
Oh, it's still deep for now. Let's just clear all in. That's a pretty nice fit. Have a quick look at it now. On both sides we've got meshing at the top. If you look through there you can see on the other side. And then solid panel everywhere else, head and foot. Uh, there is a bit of a sag in it, which people say you get. This side's not too bad. So maybe it's just a matter of tightening up that end a bit, making the rope a bit smaller. I have seen people make a couple of mods. One guy on the inside has put a bungee on the inside and so we can tighten it up. I think what I might do is what we've got here doesn't reach there. And I might just put a little loop there which I can tie to the tie back here. So I didn't have the camera in place. I'm thinking of doing is putting a little loop here and connecting it to that. So that'll give that bit of a hold out a bit more. And I did it on all four corners. And as you can see we've got plenty of space between the fly and the inner. Again YKK zippers. See all the reinforcement points on the corners, only the one pocket again. <sighs> it pulls it out far enough. Like I said, if I had this here, it could just make it a little bit a little bit tighter. But you can feel the difference. You've got the wind blowing now and I can't feel it coming through, but we can up at the top, the vent here, I can feel it flowing through to my ear, but here you can't, you can there, you can't there, so the material works as a wind block, so it's going to help keep the heat in on the colder nights, or hemmed, so it's nice and strong. Yeah, it all looks pretty good. Again, two hooks so we can put a ridge line inside with a little organiser on. I think that's going to do well. You can just see through the, the outside, so it's not a complete um, privacy. Let's put it that way. So you don't want to be getting changed if you've got the doors open, unless you've got the doors open facing away from anybody else camping. And like I said, for an extra 50, 60 grams, that's uh, yeah. So that's less, that's about 1.3 kilos, or just under, for a two-person shelter. And again, you don't have to use the poles with one of these, because you've got these tags at the top, which you can actually get a little perfect loop on it, and put it on the ridge line between two trees. And then just peg everywhere around us out the same as normal. Ah, that was it. I was swapping the three season inner for the four season inner. Yeah, if I weren't taking my time and moving the camera, I could have probably had that done in two minutes, three minutes at the most. It was just easy. A bit awkward getting the loops off because there's a hook on the inside. Of the um, yeah, the hook goes around, but then it's got like a like, like, little like a fishing hook. It's got a little barbel on it. That's the word barbel, which makes it just a little bit awkward. But if you give it a twist, at the same time it pulls it out. Uh, the hook pulls the hook out of the loop, or the loop out of the hook, whichever way around it you want to put it. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, and it's showing you how to swap the inners on the Lanshan Two. So, if you're not a subscriber, go down below, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell next to it and select all, so you can be notified of all future videos. And hit the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.